Now that we've got some users on the machine, it's time to add a client PC. If I open up the computers branch in Active Directory Users Computer, you see there's no computers there at the moment. What we need to do is go to a Windows 10 machine, which I'll just drag in. And because we have no DHCP set up at the moment, we need to specify IP addresses like we did previously. So we'll need to give it an IP address in the same range as the server. So we'll give it 10.1.1.1. Subnet mask, of course, we customized. Default gate we will leave blank at the moment until we get that set up. And the important bit is the DNS must point to the server. You could add a secondary DNS, but there's no need at the moment as we've no external access. So we'll close all that down. And it's always wise to launch a command prompt and check that the basic network works. So we'll do a ping. And that's working fine. If you want to check DNS is working, we can ping by name and it's resolving that quite happily. So we'll head across the properties, change and change again, and we'll join it to the domain. So we'll put ross.com in there. It'll ask for a username and password. So we'll use an admin account. And it should then join and welcome us to the domain. At that point, it'll need a reboot. And while it's rebooting, we can head across to the server. Inside the computers, we should now have a client machine showing. The Windows 10 machine has now rebooted, so we should be able to now log in as one of the users we created in the domain. So we'll change to another user. We use Thomas and his password. And instantly the username changes to his full name and it is logging us into the system. It's now setting up the profile, so this will take a few seconds to happen. And there we have Thomas successfully logged in.